Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So it's time to play in some more new products. So as always, I just threw a bunch of random stuff in this little bag. A lot of the products are brand new, haven't opened, and then just a couple of things that I've already used. Um, so we're just about to play in some makeup. I'm gonna put some of this on my lips first though. Bare Minerals Lip Gloss Balm. And I like how moisturizing this is. It goes on clear, but it looks kind of pink in the tube. But it's nice. It's really, really nice. Um, let me put some SP up on really quick. This is Tula. They have a super size, you guys. They came out with a larger size. So if y'all are running low, get you the large size. This is 3.38 fluid ounce. I'm gonna put her all over my face. Yeah, so I don't have a new primer um, to use today. So I'm just gonna use the, cause I want, I kinda want glowy skin today. So I pulled out, and this SPF gives me a glow, as y'all can see, really, really nice. So since I want glowy skin, I pulled out my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk um, Hydrating Primer. And this stuff will give you the dew. It will give you the glow. All of that that you need. So that's what um, I'm going to use for my primer today. I'm not going to take a lot because I just put on a ton of sunscreen. So I'm just going to take a little, little, you know, dime size and just rub it in on top of my sunscreen. So I was debating on whether or not I wanted to use the um, the Gucci foundation again because I don't really have a brand new foundation that I haven't used yet. I have some skin tints, but I'm actually working on something right now with my skin tints, so I don't want to use a new one today. But I did realize, <laughs> I realized I purchased the Kevin Aquan uh, foundation balm, and I have the shade Deep FB14. And the only thing I did with this was, oops was swatch it and it came like it came broken a little bit I don't know if you guys can see that but I just swatched it on my hand I don't know if it's gonna be a good shade on my face but when I swatched it as soon as I got it I felt like it was pretty good so I think I'm gonna use this today and um, yeah let's just use this today since you guys have already seen me use the Gucci foundation um, oh, we have a new brow product, the Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. This is the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, so some of this stuff I purchased um, during the Sephora sale and also some of the stuff was gifted. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how this pencil look. It's just so cute. And you guys know pink is my favorite color and I just thought this was the cutest thing. I'm gonna brush my brows first. You guys have seen me do my brows a million and one times, so I'm just gonna speed through, um, speed through this process. Actually, I take that back because this is my first time using this brow pencil, and I want you guys to see my first impression on the brow pencil. So, let's see. Okay, so it's, let me move that. Okay, color is perfect. And I like the way it feels, like it's not too soft. I was using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. I've actually been using that one a lot recently because I really like it. But I noticed, and they're actually shaped the same way, like they have that same little slant. But the Charlotte Tilbury one is really, really soft in my opinion. But this one is, it kind of reminds me of my Benefit Precisely My Brow. Only thing of difference is the shape, but I do like how it's going in the brows. It's not too, you know, soft, slippery, and it looks pretty good. I know it looks a little crazy, but I'm gonna shape them up with my concealer. But yeah, this is nice. This is nice, I like it. So I'm wondering if the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm is similar to the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm. And I've already done a review on that one, so I just wanna see 
if do we want to use a brush with this or a sponge mm. Mm. let's use a brush let's use this one from sephora and we're just gonna take a good bit of it like this yeah, it almost, I mean, it feels like the K, uh, the KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm. The color looks, let's see. The color is pretty spot on, y'all. Wow. Okay, this is already drying down. So this is, is this a matte foundation? Because when I put it on, it looks, it's starting to look matte on my face. Y'all see, like right in here? Hmm. Yeah, it, oh girl, this is matte. I didn't even know that, I should have read. Let me see, let me pull it up on Sephora. Wait, I don't see it. It's not, wait. It's not even on Sephora anymore. Wait a minute. Let's see. Did they stop selling this? Girl, they don't even have it on Sephora anymore. I purchased this thing before the Sephora sale. So I don't know, maybe they sold out when Sephora had their sale, but I can't even find it on Sephora anymore. And I don't even have the box anymore. But, I mean, y'all can see, it's definitely giving me a, almost like a satin finish, honestly. Like, see? Y'all, that color is spot on, y'all. Like, it is spot on. But yeah, this is definitely matte. I feel like it's more matte than the KVD foundation balm. Ooh, maybe I should do a side-by-side -side comparison. I know I was telling y'all in my Sephora haul that I wanted to do a comparison between um, Fenty and Kosas. So I'm working on that too. So it's a few things I'm working on with um, the foundation tints that I have. And you guys will see that video shortly. I don't know when I'm gonna be done with it, but it's a process. <laughs> Cause I'm doing something a little different with, um, oh my gosh. Wow. This looks flawless. <laughs> wow. This looks good, but it's taking a good minute because I'm using a small little brush, but it looks pretty freaking good. I don't have, dang. Yeah. I don't have a new concealer to try. Um, ooh, you guys, I finally got the lip bar finishing powder. So we're going to be trying that out today. Um, let me grab, yeah, I didn't even put a concealer in here. Let me grab concealer real quick. All right. I'm just going to take Pat McGrath in the shade 23 for my concealer today. We have a new setting powder to try out today and I'm kind of nervous because I feel like if your setting powder is not good, like it's just gonna mess up everything. Like the complexion just ain't gonna look how it needs to look. So I'm kind of nervous to try this one out. This is the Tatcha, um, the Silk Powder. And I have watched quite a few reviews on this powder, so. Some people like it, some people don't like it. And I'm hoping that it, you know, that it works for me. Let me kind of blend that out. But yeah, this is the Silk Powder by Tatcha. It's a talk-free translucent setting powder with a radiant finish that blurs while cocooning skin from pollutants and blue light. Hmm, let's see what Tatcha is talking about. Oh, this is different. Okay. 
okay what do I do now oh let me put the top back on it all right y'all I'm gonna take the sponge and all right let's try this oh, I don't want to mess up my ooh, let me blend this concealer tap it in so don't I really don't want to mess up my complexion hopefully it's not too luminous like hopefully it sets the way I need it to set and looks the way that I need it to look mmm I can already see the luminosity y'all can't see it but I can see it hmm let's keep going I don't really care for powders that are um, that gives me a glow especially if I'm setting my concealer with it but I mean I wanted to try this out but <clears throat> yeah I can see the loom I mean it looks okay eh. let's keep going Hopefully it doesn't start looking too shiny. That's that's one thing that I don't want because I don't want my T-zone to be shiny. I want it to be matte and flat and soft and airbrushed. It looks okay so far, y'all. <laughs> so far it's looking okay. But yeah, um, a lot of people were using this to just light, like they would get a big fluffy brush and lightly buff it all up. Kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder. And that's, I didn't want to do it like that because I feel like this is too light on my complexion. <clears throat> and I really just wanted to use it to set my concealer and see how it looks that way. I'm so excited to try out this lip bar. I also purchased another lip bar concealer because I'm almost out of the one that I'm using. Um, okay. Mm. I feel like I can see the glow already. Like right here, right here. I can, I can see it y'all. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it. All right, so now I'm gonna take, ooh, I'm excited for this next step. I'm gonna take one of these powders. So I went ahead and got two shades because I was gonna use a lighter shade for setting my concealer, but I mean, I used the Tatcha one today, but I got two shades for that. So I got one shade to go all over the face and then this lighter shade to set my concealer. So um, this color, is sorry y'all brown sugar babe and then this one is sweet as chai so we're gonna use brown sugar babe for all over the face i'll let me show you the other one too i'm gonna swatch them so y'all can see how they look you know you know you know you know should it all right i cannot wait so this one's brown sugar babe this is the one that's gonna go all over it yeah i can see y'all <laughs> my face it looks like i put on highlighter i don't know y'all but yeah i'm gonna put this around the perimeter of my face let me swatch on my hand i feel like with powders hand swatches are not that helpful but just so y'all can see the swatch Oh no, I hope that's not too light. Mm. Let's see, sweetest chai. Probably should have used this to set my concealer instead. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. We're just playing in makeup, trying new things. So there's sweetest chai. And this feels really silky. 
like really, 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 really silky. Yeah, that'll be a good color. It almost looks too, too, too light though, but I feel like with just a little bit of it, it will probably look good to set my under eye, but um, I am going to, actually I forgot to take some of that powder to put on my lids and it, my lids are already starting to crease from that concealer I put on. So let me fix that real quick. Take some of that Tatcha powder and put it on my lid. Cause y'all know I like to set my lid too with setting powder. The packaging is kind of different. <laughs> if you have it, then you know what I'm talking about, but it has this weird little thing in the middle, but the powder comes out on the sides of it. It's different. All right, let's use this. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm gonna take this Sonia Kashuk large fluffy brush and we're gonna set the perimeter of my face. Hopefully this color is good. I think it is just right here. Yeah, that's a good color right here and then right in here under my chin my jaw i almost feel like that foundation doesn't even need to be set because it was pretty matte but i still like to set everything okay whatever is left on this um the brush i'm gonna take it everywhere else on the face just to even the complexion out a little bit and also kind of take away from that glow because <laughs> it looks like I put on highlighter and I don't like that y'all I don't like that all right so what do we think now that I mean it honestly 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 it doesn't look too bad now that I put on the powder the lip bar powder like my face doesn't look too glowy like it did like the center of my face. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. Hmm. Okay. All right, you guys, I have um, a new powder that I haven't used on camera, but I have been using it. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk um, Glow Fusion Powder. So they reformulated, they, uh, they reformulated their powder and this kind of gives you a glow, even though I don't need any more glow on the face. But I mean, I'm going to use this as my bronzer. So the shade I'm using is 14. So if you look at it closely, you can see shimmer in the powder. And I know a lot of people don't like to put this type of powder all over the face. So what I've been doing recently is just using this as my bronzer. And it is really, really, really pretty for that. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to take this um, Real Techniques brush uh the number 400 and I swirl it up in here and we are gonna bronze the skin with this it's really really pretty you guys like really pretty and it's pretty sheer too so when i'm swirling my brush in it i'm picking up the product but i'm not picking up a lot see how pretty that color is really pretty but yeah this is a really 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 sheer powder but i love 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 using it for my bronzer instead of all over the face because it does have that sheen to it which i don't want all over my face so you guys know i did not like the patrick ta um new contour cream contour and powder bronzer duo when i tried it out in my last testing new product video but I have really, really, really been loving it for my nose contour because the color is not too warm. If you don't like really warm bronzers, you want something that's more cool tone, then the Patrick Ta is definitely it for that. So, but I just put it on my nose to contour it just like this. So I, girl, y'all are going to be so shocked, but I pulled out some different lashes today. Y'all know I always use the 778s from Ardell. This is also by Ardell, but these are their new Texture Eyes lashes in the style 578. They look 
pretty freaking good. So we're gonna try these out. And I am thinking about doing a, like, I've been thinking about this deep, smoky blue eye for the longest. So and the only palette that I have right now in my collection that has the blue that I need is this one from um, Midas Cosmetics. It's the Genesis palette. It is in collaboration with Drench Cosmetics. So Midas Cosmetics and Drench Cosmetics collab together to create this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. You guys have, well, some of you have already seen this because I shared it in one of my vlogs, but look at this palette, y'all. Like this navy blue is screaming my name. And this is the blue that I'm talking about. I want to use this, but I don't know how I want to use it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's first start out with a transition shade in the crease because that's like the first thing that we need to do. I'm going to use this Morphe M504. Y'all know it's my fave. And let's do, mm, let's start out warm first, like really, really warm. So we're going to go into this color right here and it's called Educated. Ooh, girl, pigmented. Let me kind of tap that off. Yeah. Tap it off some. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Do y'all see how salt, like how easily that blended out? I'm thinking about doing the navy blue with, um, cause I even pulled out a eyeliner, like a colored eyeliner, the um, Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil. My favorite, 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 favorite eye pencils. Well, for the co for color, these are my favorite. They have a ton of different colors. And this one is called Deep End. So I think navy blue with that on the waterline I am very excited to see how it's going to look. I just don't know how I want to do the blue. Like, do I want to do it on half of my lid? Do I want to do it all over my lid? I went a little heavy on that. Let me kind of wipe the brush off some. I don't know, but I do know I want to at least get the crease right. So that way, whatever I put on, it can kind of blend in. And so I like for this color to kind of peek over whatever I'm doing on the lid. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm not going to do too much. Let's just keep that shade right there. And now let's go into the blue. So I am going to get a different brush for this because huh, I don't have a brush. Like I need a flat brush. That's what I need. And I have all blending brushes in front of me. Let's take this Patrick Ta. Yeah, I need a flatter brush for this. I don't know. We'll make it work. Yeah, Patrick Ta blending brush we're gonna go into this navy blue and I'm gonna use the side of the brush instead of using like the whole thing see how I just put the blue on one side of it but y'all look how oh my god I'm nervous I'm nervous let's put let's first start on the outer corner first yeah let's do that instead of starting Ooh, that is deep and pigmented okay hold on hold on y'all because I need to make sure that it's not gonna mess up my makeup so I'm gonna put a little bit of this powder right here so if you have eyeshadow fall out you can easily brush it away and it's not gonna mess up your makeup Wow I really wish I had a smaller brush for this because any weird movement, you'll be able to see it because you can see this blue everywhere. Let me just do that, 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 that. Let me take that same brush that I used for the crease and let's just use this to blend that blue, the edges of the blue. This next part is where I always get lost because every time, every time I do color, I get lost. <laughs> Cause once I lay down the first color, I'm like, okay, what do I want to do next? What color do I want to do next? So I think to make it look 
Mm. What should we do, y'all? See, this is exactly why. I'll do color. Let's do. What does this color look like? Look at this, y'all. Look at this. That is like a really pretty iridescent. Like it has a shift of red, blue. Hold on. Should we do that or should we do. I think we should do that. That. Yes, because that's going to really tie in with that eyeliner. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's take the finger to be on the safe side. I feel like with my finger, I have so much more control. So, I'm going to use my finger and tap it right here in the inner corner where we didn't put on any eyeshadow. Oh, my God. All right, now I'm gonna take the eyeliner and put it on the waterline. Ooh, let me sharpen this. All right, we are good, good and sharp. And I'm just gonna put it on my waterline. And these are so creamy. And my eyes water every time I do this, so bear with me, y'all. All right, girl, now the new lashes. Hopefully these look good. Hopefully I don't have to cut them. <sighs> this is why I always stick to what I like, but we're gonna venture out today and try something new. So let me pop these on real quick and then I will be right back. Y'all, these lashes are nice. Now, only thing I don't like about them, when I first put them on, they look really, really thin and kind of like um, gappy. But once I put on my mascara, and I always put the mascara on after I put on my false lashes, it made it look more full. But I mean, you can barely see it now because I have on, I have a dark shade on my lid, so it's kind of taken away from the lashes, but I like them. They're a little bit longer than the ones that I use, but it looks really good with this type of look, like a dramatic, smoky look. These lashes are perfect for it. So, um, y'all, do y'all like this? I like it. I like it. So the mascara I was using is the Gucci. I have been really liking this mascara, y'all. I use it on my bottom and my top lashes. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and sweep away this powder on the face and then we can finish up i have a new blush too which i'm excited to use it's the um melt cream blush light and i got the shade sundown i don't think i've shared that with you guys yet on my channel i purchased it but i think i didn't even like show it in a haul but she's new we're about to try it as soon as we finish up sweeping the powder off I'm really liking the complexion now, y'all. Now that everything has come together, I'm really, really, really liking the complexion. Um, yeah, so let's try the blush and see how she looks. So this is how the color is. It's like a terracotta color, and I think this would be great with this type of look. Ooh, she is really, really, ooh, she has some sheen pretty it's like a peachy color that is pretty hmm okay this is how I usually apply my cream blushes anyway I just take the sponge in it like this tap it tap it swirl it swirl it get a lot of product and then tap it on the cheek I thought I smelled something this kind of smells Maybe it's my hand. I have some lotion on. <laughs> I was about to say, it kind of smells sweet. This is, okay, this reminds me of the Fenty Glow. Y'all know that they had like, um, Fenty had like a limited edition cream blush and it came with the gloss, the Fenty Glow gloss. This color actually looks almost just like it. Almost. Fenty Glow actually has more shimmer in it though. But this is really really sheer now I want a little bit more depth on the side of my face so I'm gonna take this Fenty thick mint bronzer 
and I'm taking this Sephora brush and tapping it in there and just going right here. Oh, I did a review on this, y'all, if y'all missed it. And I compared it to the other Fenty bronzers if y'all want to check it out. But Thick Mint is definitely my favorite Fenty bronzer compared to all the other ones. So definitely check out that review if you missed it. All right. So I'm going to take this. Um, dang, y'all. I was going to use this today. The Kaja um, Blush and Bronzer Trio. I totally forgot about this. It has the blush, it has a highlighter, and then it has the cream bronzer. I totally forgot about this. This is what I was gonna use. Dang it, oh, oh well, I'll use it in another video. Um, but anyway, the lips, I'm taking this, um, this new lipstick that I got from Sephora. It's the Gucci Rouge lipstick in the shade Lynette Stone. And I don't even think I need to line my lips, honestly, but let, hold on, let me see. This is really sheer, but let's see how it looks by itself. Yeah, this is like, girl, this is like a clear gloss, but the color is so pretty in the tube. It's like a brown beige, um, uh, beige nude, but it's super, super, super sheer. Really sheer, y'all. Dang it, okay. Which is fine because I have so much going on on the eyes anyway. Let's take the MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Cork. Just to give it a little bit more definition, you know? Mm. Yeah, if you're looking for something that's really, really sheer, but smooth and buttery on the lips, then the Gucci lipsticks, the new ones are really really nice so i'm pretty much done you guys like for real let me spray my face with a tatcha dewy skin mist have been really loving this spray y'all just give me a little spray all right guys that is it for today's video i had so much fun sitting here playing in these products creating something really cute and fun um and i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this so um only thing that i didn't really care for that i used in today's video was the tatcha the silk powder everything else i really really like um i'm gonna continue to use the foundation so i can really see how it wears throughout the day today is just all about sitting here getting ready, getting cute, just playing in a ton of products. So, um, but I will let you guys know in another video, like an update, product update video, whether or not I like the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. And now that I see that it's not even on Sephora, I don't even know, are they, I don't even know if they're gonna discontinue this, I don't know. But it's just weird that I don't see it on Sephora anymore. But anyway, that is it, that is it, that is it, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me get ready and just, sitting here playing in all these products. Let me know if you tried anything that I use. What are your thoughts on the products? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. So let's talk about it down below in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.